How's it going, everybody? Mount Gorilla 406 here. Want to give a big shout out to my Big Ten subscribers. You guys make this channel rock around the world. So today, I'm coming at you guys. Want to give you a big happy Thanksgiving, if that's what you're into. Uh, today, I'm coming at you with a uh, video here with a review on uh, my opinion on Coleman waterproof matches. If I can get that there in the video. I got these at Kmart on sale. And uh, I haven't tried these yet, but I want to try them for you guys. And I got a special review to you guys for today. Because I'm going to drop these into water and see how they perform after we pull them back out of the water. So, let's go ahead and uh, open this right here. <coughs> so, I haven't opened these, opened these yet, but uh, I've had these in the past. I've never put them in water or anything, but they've always done pretty good as far as matches go, per se, that you would buy for camping or whatever. So, but these claim that they're waterproof. So, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys that uh, these are good matches. So there's one. So, I'm going to let that light for a minute. Here's the water that I'm going to be dumping these into and just to prove that's water. Let it right out. So, uh, these are all good, and these, these look like they got a pretty good head on them. Now, the only thing that I don't like about these, and I really like the boxes like you get out of, like, the grocery stores and whatever, like, the generic, but they say, strike anywhere. Because if they're strike anywhere, they come with a little white tip on them, and you can literally strike that anywhere... I've struck it off zippers, like a metal zipper on a jacket. Um, you can strike it off a, like a dry rock. Um, so having the ability to strike anywhere, some of these that just have these full red tips, you have to actually have the box with the striker to be able to strike this match. So here's my water again. There it is. So this is going to be the water that we're actually going to uh, drill this box into. So normally when you have a box of matches and you would be out hiking or whatever, most people would carry a dry box. And basically this is a box with oops, uh, just a latch and it has a seal on the inside. And uh, basically you would have your contents inside of this and that basically creates a seal and you're not going to get your stuff wet. But, today, we're going to say that I'm out hiking, and I just have these in my jacket pocket, or maybe I have these in my pack on the outside, because it's just a day hike. I'm not really planning on anything happening. But let's say I fall in the creek with this, and this is in the back of my, you know, the back of my pack. Or whatever, where I could get to it if I wanted to just start a quick fire or whatever. So, I don't plan on getting wet. Something happens when I get wet. So, I'm actually going to take some of these matches out because I don't want to ruin this entire box for this video. Um, I'm actually going to cut this box in half. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put probably a quarter of the matches into the water. And I'm going to put this striker face into the water. So, because the striker is going to get wet too. If this is potentially going to get submerged in water, like it's in a pack, let's say I fall in the creek, this is going to get wet too. So, this is also something that matters too with these waterproof matches. Now, will I be able to strike them right afterwards? After coming out of the water, how long should I leave them into the water? How long did I fall in the creek? I fall in the creek and kind of float down the creek a ways about, you know, 60 seconds or two minutes, three minutes, how, you know, so how long are these waterproof? How long can these be submerged in water? So that's something we're, you know, going to find out right now. So let's go ahead and get this cut. So I'm going to take this apart. Okay. Get you guys. 
so I'm just going to, uh, I'll just dump these out into my dry box. Cut this in half. So, here's my striker face, face down in the water. And uh, here's a little blot of matches right into the water there for you. So you can see all the red tips just floating around right there. So, I probably should be timing this to see what happens, but uh, I'm not going to. So, while we're sitting here waiting for this, because I want to see if these do what they do, uh, this right here is also a quick review on a Gerber folding razor knife that I got from Walmart. So, this is a love-hate relationship. This is made by Gerber. It's got a bright orange handle. I really like these normally. The one thing I didn't like about this was the fact that when it was shut, it was in my pocket. I had it in my pants. I noticed the time I started getting poked, for some reason it walked out. It just, with this particular nub, and it didn't have enough resistance in here. Could have been just this one, but it just walked out. But I'll tell you what, this is a Gerber, and I'm a big fan of Gerber. This has got a lot of texture right here. You can see all this texture on both sides. It's got it under here. You can remove this clip, but I got it on my pocket. Got a change out blade. The one thing I was a big fan of was it has right here, you can change out the blade. But this blade that this came with was extremely thick. I don't know if I can get that on camera. But this particular blade was way thicker than normal. I've never seen a razor blade that thick. The bevel on it was crazy like I can't even describe it. So and I'm sure the video is not even picking this up. So, but this is my pocket Gerber razor knife. And this is the factory blade that came with it. I've had this for about six months. It's still razor sharp. You don't want to get poked with this. I won't carry this in my pocket though. Because of the fact that the one time I did carry it in my pocket, this actually walked open and poked me. And poked me pretty good. So we're going to get back to our matches here. I'm going to pull them out. So here's our matches, and uh, here is a striker strip. So I'm just going to set this like this. Let's see, I just made my way out of the creek. Now we're at uh, almost nine minutes. I don't know when I put these in. You guys could probably tell me. You guys can go back in the video and time this. But uh, here's all my wet. So. They don't seem to be, they don't seem to be like goopy or anything. Let's see if this strikes right now. Oh, it broke. The head broke right off the match. Here's the head. The head still looks good. Let's see if we can get another one. No. No. Oh. Oh. It wanted to. I actually pulled the striker out of my hand. So. 
these feel like if I dry them out just a little bit, which we'll go ahead here and do. I'm just setting them here off the edge of uh, the box. Go ahead and start drying the strike off. You know what? I will, uh, Because it seemed to me like uh, the striker, because it was wet, like if the matches would have had the one, it, it felt like it wanted to go before it got pulled out of my hand. See, this one match has a baby tip on it. So that's something you're going to encounter in these matches. One will have a regular tip, one will have a baby tip. So again, these are the Coleman matches. They're supposed to be waterproof. I got these at Kmart. Um, they say they're good for hiking and backpacking, but it's supposed to be waterproof. So let's see what happens. They were in the water, you know, for a fair amount of time right in the water. And uh, we'll dry the strike out. So one of my next reviews is uh, going to be on the Coleman first aid kit. This is a 100 piece. Coleman first aid kit, um, still in the package. This is supposed to be waterproof case, keeps contents dry, kit floats, crush proof. Ideal for camping, fishing, and hunting. Glows in dark, easy for identification. So, that's something in the next video that uh, I'll probably do is probably this one. And uh, we're going to see if this actually glows in the dark. And uh, we'll see actually how waterproof and crush proof this is. Um, and we'll actually go ahead and open this up and see how good the contents are inside of it. Is this actually worth, worth picking up? So this is the Coleman uh, first aid kit here. Sportsman waterproof right here. So that'll probably be the next video that we go ahead and do. So, this is starting to feel kind of dry to me. I've been sitting here and kind of holding this in my hand, rubbing it. Uh, let's go ahead and see if one of these matches will, will do something. Oh. Oh. I busted another one off. Just busted the head right off. That's okay. Look at that. You guys could time it. Just sat in the water. You've seen it. No cuts in the video. This just struck and lit. It just went out. Let's see if we can get another one to do it. Ooh, it almost went. I think if you dried these out a little bit more, they'd probably strike pretty well. So. I'm not sure if you were soaking wet and you fell in the creek, I'm not sure how you would dry this out. Maybe you could let me know in the comments, maybe you got an idea on a quick way to uh, dry a match out. If you fall in the creek, get out. Um, if, there's sun sh if there's sunlight, obviously, Set them in the sun on a warm rock. That would be obvious. Um, oh, that one just broke off. So, that is going to be one downside to these matches once you get them wet. 
I mean, that's still a decent head. That should still strike. But it's wet. And they're just busting off. So, I mean, what would a guy have to wait? Or 15 minutes into the video? Um, I'm not exactly sure when I drop these in. I guess I should have should have checked. Um, obviously, if you're an outdoorsman, you have other ways of making fire. But this is the review. Oh. I got that one to strike. You can see it's wet. Shaft is wet. Now, I will show you guys something I do know how to do to kind of make these matches a little bit better. And I can do that in an upcoming video and show you guys how to do that. If you guys want, let me know in the subscribers. Let me know down in the comments. And basically, that's as simple as dipping this. Dipping it in something. What would you dip that in? If you're going to take a match, you try and dip that in something. What would you dip it in? I know what I dip it in. Let's see if we can get another one strike. Oh, it must be starting to dry out a little bit. That one's burning a little bit better. In the water. Shoot the head right off that one trying to strike that. Um, you know, I just, I'm not a big fan of having to use a striker. I like the strike anywhere matches. The problem is, they don't make a lot of waterproof strike anywhere matches. Anyway, that's my review, and that's my today's video for you guys. Like I said, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are having a great year. Christmas is coming up soon. You better watch out. You're going to be on that naughty or nice list. Santa's always watching. You guys have a great day. Check you guys later.